I mean, Itachi already proved he was stronger than Naruto and Killer B, but not just that. When he went to fight Kabuto with Sasuke, he was carrying Sasuke. Hey, yo, Van Smoke family. Yo. Oh, what's good with it, everybody? It's your boy, Van Smoke Lelouch, and I'm back with another video. And today, I kind of wanted to discuss something with y'all. So I have ran into this post, and when I first seen the post, I'm like, this shit is disrespectful as fuck. But then when I looked at it again, I'm like, hmm, maybe they kind of got an argument. Now I'm gonna show y'all this post and I want y'all initial thoughts. So as soon as you see this post, go to the comment section, leave a like too. Go to the comment section, pause the video, go to the comment section and then tell me what y'all initial thoughts are. Because when I first seen this post, I'm like, bro, who made this dumb ass shit? This shit is disrespectful. But look at this post right here. This post says that Itachi's biggest weakness was Guy Sensei. The reason being because Guy Sensei can fight without looking at Itachi. He can just fight looking at his feet. Although that is true. Guy Sensei can do that, but that don't mean a goddamn thing against Itachi, man. Naruto thought that he was about to do the same thing, and then next few minutes he running around throwing around Rasengan's, and we we don't even know what the fuck is going on. But the whole time he is in a Genjutsu. This nigga is fighting crows. He had, he not, um, not he not, he had soccer waking him up like, bro, what the fuck are you doing? You already in a Genjutsu? And that was only like 30% of Itachi, right? And this is a Naruto after the training arc, after the two years, you know, after the time skip. So, hey, that's proven fact right there that you don't, like, Itachi, just because you don't look at his eyes don't mean that you can't be put in a Genjutsu. So, initially, like I said, I thought this post was stupid as fuck, but then it got me thinking, like, who's actually stronger? Itachi or Guy Sensei? And I know y'all may be like, whoa, Guy Sensei, he was able to compete with Madara. Well, the only reason he was able to do that was because he was about to die. I mean, realistically. So, I mean, if you want to say that he'd have to die himself to meet Itachi, okay, we can agree on that. If he opened up all of his gates, right, and he's basically about to kill himself just to beat Itachi, okay, we can agree on that. But if he's not using those, hmm. Who will win? Now, at the beginning of Shippuden, right, if you remember, we know if, if we're talking just Naruto, Guy Sensei is getting washed the fuck up because Itachi been that dude. He been that man. You seen what he did to Kakashi in a few seconds. You know what I'm saying? It was like 0.1 seconds had that boy about to die in a, in a hospital in an infirmary for X amount of time off of 0.01 seconds. You know what I mean? So we know that if we talking pre-time skip, Itachi washes anybody in the Leaf Village, honestly. But let's talk about after the time skip. So at the beginning of Shippuden, when they were trying to save Gara, we get to see Guy go against, I think it's 30% of Kisame, right? And he struggled with him. I believe he even opened up a gate and that was only 30% of Kisame, right? So immediately in the beginning of Shippuden, I still got Itachi washing him. You know what I mean? But I don't know what type of training arc he went on, Guy Sensei. I don't know if he could open up these gates from the jump, but we know that he got way stronger. He was pretty irrelevant all throughout Shippuden because, you know, his team, they were irrelevant. They ain't really do shit. I mean, if y'all, I mean, besides the filler, they ain't do shit all of Shippuden. Like, they weren't relevant. We had Eno Shikato on shit. We had them doing something. They were a big part of the story. Of course, Naruto, Sasuke, um, Sakura, we seen them. We seen Sai, we seen Yamato. We seen a bunch of people, but, bro, they was pretty irrelevant the whole goddamn show, right? And to the war, of course. Then they come alive again, but I guess... At that time, that's when they were on their training arc because Guy Sensei came back. I mean, he didn't do shit, like I said, all the way into the war and was on toes. But right before the war, right, we get to see Naruto go meet Killer B. And then Guy ran into Kisame again. And Guy was getting folded up again until he opened up them gates. Now, don't get me wrong. I think Guy is lit. I think he's strong as fuck, but only when he opened up the gates, right? So if he's not about to kill himself, I think Itachi is washing him, right? Because I think Kisame would have washed him if he didn't open up them gates. But hey, he beat Kisame opening up. I think he only opened up like the fifth gate, maybe even a fourth. I don't remember exactly which gate it was, but I know that he didn't go all the way to the eighth gate, you know? So 
if we comparing Keisha May to Itachi, if y'all remember, I believe it was Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm Generations. We got to see a little glimpse of what that fight would look like. You know, they fought for a little bit. Itachi wasn't 100% serious. As soon as he got serious, Keisha May was like, all right, bro, we good. You know what I'm saying? But I think that Tachi would have beat Kisame as well, right? And then you got to think about it, right? So we see how strong a guy is, right? He's fighting Kisame. He opened up the gates, whoop de whoop whoop. But Itachi has been dead all of this time, right? Itachi comes back to life. And he's already stronger than Naruto after Naruto's training arc. Some people say... Some people say the, the reason why I say that he's stronger is because they fought against Nagato, right? And Itachi was the he was carrying the fuck out of Killer B and Naruto. Granted, he did have help. I don't think Itachi necessarily needed it. I think Itachi probably could have beat him by himself. Y'all may disagree with me, but immediately Itachi hit him with the with the Amaterasu, hit them with the Yasukabis. It was like Itachi didn't even break a sweat against him. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, but some people do say that if Guy Sensei was in a leaf village when Pain arrived, then Pain would have gotten washed. I don't know if y'all agree with that or not, but sometimes I sit there and I think about it. I, I don't know if I necessarily agree with it because that would mean that Guy is stronger than everybody in a leaf village. You know what I'm saying? That would mean that Guy is kind of stronger than Jiraiya. And I know people be all like, well, Jiraiya didn't know it was X amount of people. Jiraiya still got folded, bro. I'm, I'm just saying, Jiraiya still got folded. I fuck with Jiraiya too, but... He still got folded. A lot of people say that if if Guy Sensei was in a leaf village, he would have been able to defeat Pain. Now, y'all let me know if y'all agree with that. Because that would mean something. Because Nagato, Pain, they kind of equal the same thing. I believe Nagato was a little bit stronger. But not just that, right? Naruto already proved he was, I mean, Itachi already proved he was stronger than Naruto and Killer B. But not just that. When he went to fight Kabuto with Sasuke, he was carrying Sasuke. Sasuke was getting his ass whooped. He was looking irrelevant, right? Itachi was telling him the shit to do. Itachi was telling him, hey, you got to get out of the way. Itachi was saving his ass. Itachi carried him to defeating Kabuto. Itachi did put the last move on him as well. So it's like, and this is without him training. So Itachi already scales to like that version of Sasuke. And I do know that that nigga Sasuke got folded up by Madara before he got his little power boost. But I'm just saying though, Itachi made it look like light work. We know that he was way stronger than that version of Sasuke already because he carried him throughout that whole fight. So maybe he's relative to the Sasuke who got the power boost. I'm just saying because he was already stronger than Sasuke and that, and that, that version of Sasuke. He carried him that whole entire fight, right? So he's already stronger than him. Sasuke gets a power boost. Maybe that brings him up to the level of Itachi. I'm just throwing that out there. If y'all disagree, y'all disagree. Now, we do know that if Guy opened up every single one of his gates, okay, Itachi, you get him packed up. But if he don't... Then who will win? Y'all let me know in the comment section down below. Because this is something that, I, that I, I've really been thinking about it. And I'm not biased or anything. Neither one of these characters are my favorite character. Y'all know my favorite character is the Gogara, but who's stronger? Hmm? But that's it for this video. Let me know in the comment section down below who y'all think is stronger. And please leave a like on this video because only you got the ability to make me famous. Only you got the power to put some bread in my hands. And all you got to do is get a video with thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. But peace.